Okay, today we're going to talk about solving two-step equations with rational numbers. So put that at the top of your page with today's date in the top right corner. Remember, this is just like solving two-step two equations with integers, but now we're going to throw in fractions, decimals, things like that. So first, here we have a fraction on the left, right? R plus 7 over 4 equals 5. I want to get rid of that divided by 4. Because remember, fractions are basically division. So this means R plus 7 divided by 4. To get rid of that divided by 4, I need to multiply by 4. Okay? So let's multiply that whole thing by 4. Let's multiply this by 4. By doing that, since it's being divided by 4, I can... When I multiply by 4, it cancels those out. I'm just left with an r plus 7 equals 20. And now it's actually a pretty simple equation, right? I can do minus 7, minus 7. So r would equal 13. Again, it was the whole thing up here was being divided by 4, so I had to multiply the whole thing by 4 to get rid of that divided by 4. Try number 2 on your own. Okay, welcome back. So, we have y minus 4 divided by 3 equals 9. Again, let's get rid of that divided by 3. And to get rid of that divided by 3, we multiply by 3. And whatever we do on this side of the equation, we have to do over here. So we multiply by 3. So those cancel. I'm just left over here with a y minus 4, and then 9 times 3 is 27. Then, to solve it, since it's subtraction, we add 4 to both sides. And we would get y equals 31. Now, if I put that back in the equation, let's see what happens. 31 minus 4, because we know y is 31, so we plug that in, equals 9. Uh, 31 minus 4 is 27, divided by 3 is 9, and 27 divided by 3 is 9, so that works. Next, we have 2 thirds times n plus 7 equals 22. Now, when we talk about solving equations, we're basically undoing them to isolate the variable, to get that variable alone. And to do that, we're going to actually do the opposite of order of operations. We're undoing the equations. Remember, order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So, typically, if we were simplifying, we would go in this order. But since we're undoing the equation, we're actually going to go in reverse order. So let's start with addition and subtraction. So here, since it's plus 7, to isolate the variable, we need to subtract 7. So then we have 2 thirds times n equals 15. Now, this is being t multiplied by 2 thirds, so we need to divide by 2 thirds. Divide by 2 thirds. Now, this is kind of weird, right? We have 15 divided by 2 thirds, uh, but it's a whole number divided by a fraction. Remember, you can take any whole number and make it a fraction by putting it over 1. So this actually becomes 15, and I'll put it over here on the right. This becomes 15 over 1 times, keep change reciprocal, right, uh, 3 over 2. So that would be 45 over 2. And that ends up being 22 and 1 half. So n is equal to 22 and 1 half. All right, so try number 4 on your own. Okay, welcome back. Here we have 1 fifth k plus 3 equals 6. Again, let's undo that order of operations. So let's... First, subtract 3 from both sides. So we end up with 1 fifth k equals 3. Now, since it's 1 fifth times k, we need to divide by 1 fifth on both sides. And since we're dividing by 1 fifth, we need to make this into a fraction. So that's 3 over 1. And we are doing keep change reciprocal because it's division of a fraction. Keep change reciprocal. And then 3 times 5 is 15. So k equals 15. And if we did 15 times 1 fifth, that ends up being 15 over 5, which is 3. And 3 equals 3, so we're good. 
Okay, now we're dealing with decimals. Same concept here, except we are dealing with decimals instead of fractions. So since it's plus 4.4, we need to isolate this variable, right? That's always the goal of solving equations is isolating the variable. So let's get this R alone. Well, to do that, we need to subtract this 4.4 and subtract it over here. That cancels. We're left with a 2R. Now, here's where people usually make mistakes. Negative 7 eighths minus 4.4. Let's write it like this. Negative 7 eighths minus 4.4. Well, let's do keep, change, opposite. Now, we have negative 7.8 plus negative 4.4. Since they're both negative, we have to combine them. So we're actually going to add these together. Okay, and line up that decimal, make sure. So that's negative 12.2 equals 2R. Now, the variable's still not isolated, right? We still have to divide by 2 on both sides. So now we have negative 12.2 divided by 2. So let's put that like we would for bell work, just typical um, division. It's actually pretty easy to, for you at this point. 2 doesn't go into 1, but it does go into 12 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. Subtract, we get 0. Bring down that 2. 2 goes into 2 once. So we have R equals, and remember, negative divided by positive, negative 6.1. Try number 6 on your own. Okay, welcome back. So we have 1.3 minus 5m equals 7.4. We need to isolate the variable. Now this is kind of tricky because this is actually the same as 1.3 plus negative 5m. Remember, that's a negative 5m. Subtraction is the same as plus negative here. Uh, we need to isolate the variable. So let's get rid of that positive 1.3. Since it's positive, let's subtract. And here we just have a straight up subtraction. We're still left with negative 5m here. Not positive 5m because it's minus 5m. So it's negative. And here we have subtraction. So that's 1. So, so 6.1. So negative 5m equals 6.1. So now let's divide by negative 5. So we know that since it's a positive divided by a negative, the answer is actually going to be negative. So let's just deal with the numbers. So that cancels. We're, we have m equals so let's do 6.1 divided by 5. Remember, that decimal goes right there. So 5 goes into 6 once. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract, we get 1. Let's bring down another 1. 5 goes into 11 twice. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract, we get uh, 1. Bring down a 0 this time. And 5 goes into 10 twice. So it's negative 1.22. Because remember, positive divided by negative. All right, remember, these are the same rules that you've always done. Uh, to undo equations, do the opposite of order of operations. Do the addition and subtraction first, then the multiplication and division.